What is up, seasoning gang and cravers? Who has a taste for a turkey meatloaf? Let's get it. Let's. Get it. We'll start from the other side today. The co-star of the show is gonna be this ground turkey. It says three pounds, but we're only gonna use two pounds of it. You're gonna need some black pepper, some garlic powder, minced onion, some red bell pepper that I've already diced, a nice medium-sized pan, brown sugar, crackers, tomato paste, honey, ketchup, Worcestershire. All right, and some cheese. Yeah, cheese. It's a little hack that my wife taught me when we first got married years ago. Um, I used to put mushrooms in mine, but this cheese does it better. It doesn't taste cheesy, but it gives it an awesome flavor. All right, Cravers, I forgot one thing. I don't know what it is. Either I'm going crazy or I'm getting old. But I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. So I'll just say I'm going crazy. I'll take that. I forgot the egg. Make sure you have one egg that you beat up really well. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. All right, Cravers, I've taken three-fourths of that ground turkey out of the pan. If you don't know what that looks like for beginners, you'll leave a piece about like that if you have this uh, three-pound pack. All right, I'm putting on a glove because I don't want to have to keep washing my hands while dealing with this meat. So now you want to just press that meat out. And take a little bit of your minced onion. So then come back with some pepper. You can use peppercorn if you want to, but I like to use this regular uh, black pepper powder instead of my grinder on the meatloaf because I don't like chunks of pepper in my meatloaf. A little bit of garlic. I don't like a lot of garlic. If you like a lot, put your lot in there. Now you're gonna get your bell pepper. I diced this red bell pepper, it's one whole bell pepper, and I put it on a napkin so it could drain and it won't be so much juicing and wet. Spread that out evenly. All right, then you're gonna take like a cup of cheese. Not too cheesy, we're not trying to make a cheeseburger. We're just using this cheese for flavor. That egg that I told you to beat earlier, go ahead and dump it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make everything inside of my pan. Usually on my videos, I like to do stuff the way that you would do it at mix home. Mix it up in your pan. You don't have to get all those bowls and stuff out and mix it up in a bowl because you're gonna cook it in this pan. So why not mix everything up inside the pan and then form it? And then the next thing you're gonna need is a pack of Ritz crackers. And you're gonna crunch these up. So I'm not gonna let you watch me crunch these up because it's gonna be really loud on this video, but I'm about to crunch them up now, dump them in there and continue mixing with my hands. All right, Cravers, I got my crackers in there. If you see any other big pieces, just crunch them up, put your glove on, spread those out evenly. So you can see if you got any more whole crackers because you don't want to bite down into a piece of bread in the middle of your meatloaf. All right, if you hear the water running in the background, it's because I'm going to pack this up with my hands. And then I'm going to go back and wash my hands because now you got all your seasoning in there. You won't be touching your containers with your hands and then putting it back on your meat and back on your container and back on your meat and back on your container. I think you get the point. It's packed really tight. All right, Cravers. There you have it. That's what it looks like. It may look like a football or a catcher's mound or something, but you see it's not as tall as your traditional meatloaf and it's a little wider. All right, Craver. All right, so now you're saying, Carlos, why did you have me buy all that stuff if I didn't need it all? Yeah, you needed it all. <clears throat> so you're gonna take like a half a cup of honey, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. If you have uh, soy sauce, Take a tablespoon of soy sauce to put in there, but they didn't have any in the store, so I'm not using that. You're gonna take like a third of a cup of ketchup. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> now you gotta use your can of tomato paste. Fourth of a cup of brown sugar and put it in. Get this cooked and stirred in and let it cool so you can spread it across the top of your meatloaf when it's done. And when your meatloaf is done, you're gonna stick it back in the oven with this sauce on top of it and let it caramelize on top of it. There you go. We're gonna set that off to the side until the meatloaf is finished. Let it cool and thicken up. Here's your meatloaf, it's done. We're gonna dump all that juice off of it that's in the bottom. I appreciate you watching. This pretty much concludes this video. I will leave you some pictures at the end when I slice that beast and show you what it looks like. And I hope it makes you hungry and you wanna make this. Bless you, stay covered and safe during this time, stay at home. Please like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment on my videos. Mainly subscribe. If you don't want to comment, you don't have to. And I'll keep these videos going. It keeps me motivated. Thank you.